Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Coach Jay. I'm so excited that you are here. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to try my best to keep this video simple, simple and to the point, but we know how I love to expound. Um, so I'm going to definitely keep it straightforward and definitely break things down on how my client was able to hit $15,000 in her business in October of 2023. And then also want to talk about how my client, um, how another client of mine um, went from making $2,000 in her business to, you know, $18,000 being her highest month. And what are some of the key things that I feel as a coach coaching these types of women, what are some of the things that stand out, right, that I feel that most women need to have before working with the coach um, because of so many different expectations of when you work with a, a business coach is you got women that start businesses and that have intentions, right? They have intentions of being successful, right? They have intentions of being great and being you know, the generational curse breakers of their family. But then when it comes down to the fact that you have to do work, that's when it gets a little bit like, what? I got to do work. I got to do this. And the intention sometimes get lost in the sauce because there are so many limited beliefs about business. And, but what's so funny is that those limited beliefs seem to go away when they go to nine to fives in corporate America and do the work, you know, there. This is some of the things that I would have to say uh, are some of the things that I see in some of these women versus some women who just have in good intentions, but they do not always like live them out. So let's talk about that. Number one, um, aside from the obvious, right? You have to have a powerful offer. Like you have to have a really, really, really good offer and it has to be nailed down with messaging, content pillars, looking at the type of client that you want to go after, because the type of client that you really want to go after is many times the, the person that you're a little bit nervous about approaching because your client is sure your ideal client has her crap together, but it's now time for her to take her life, her business, her health, her relationship or her wanting of a relationship. Maybe she wants more time organization or whatever it is and she wants to take it to the next level right so this person is not like trying to survive right they're not trying to like gather pennies in order to pay her mortgage on time she literally he or she or they are they got themselves together they're pretty secure in their physiological needs so if you refer to the maslow's hierarchy of needs you'll see the whole pyramid so the offer has to be very clear, right? Messaging has to be very clear and they have to be bold, right? So I'm seeing that most of the women that I work with that actually get results, they're very bold in their presence, right? Online, they have authority. If they don't have authority, they get it. And it's really by any means necessary. It has nothing to do with an ex. It has nothing to do with, you know, a best friend, it doesn't have to do with their bishop. It's literally like, I really don't care. Like I am going to go after my destiny. I really don't care what nobody feels about it. So they're very authoritative online. And that's why I tell like people that are coming to my spaces, like you cannot come in and think you're going to be influential by hiding and being Omega Miles. You're not going to get anywhere like that. You may do a little bit here and there, but you're not going to see consistency and you're not going to be able to scale being very quiet and in the background. You do have to be a little bit controversial. Unfortunately, you have to challenge beliefs. You have to challenge ideologies and you got to challenge opinions. You've got to be a little bit of a free thinker around here. And those are some of the things that some women do have a lot of issues with. They don't like, some women just cannot bear to be bold online you know and so it's very very hard to really get an audience that thinks like you when everybody is not like conditioned to understand what you stand for that's another thing too their values are very very um 
very particularly unique, but at the same time, they stand up for what they believe in. Like, even if it's far religious, right? If it's really religious, they're very religious. And they say things out of their mouths. I mean, out of on, on Facebook or on, on X, on Instagram or whatever social media platform they're on, they're, they're very bold with it. They don't care. And if they're very, very liberal and they're very, um, you know, agnostic on the far end of the spectrum, they're very loud in that regard too. And then you got some people in the middle that are, you know, spiritual in so many ways. They don't mind saying what they really feel, but I'm going to tell you 100%. Those, you have to be loud online about your values. I'm going to tell you why. Because you want to make sure that you're attracting people into your space that are okay with how you feel about things. Because as a coach, I'm telling you, you have to say a lot of uncomfortable things. And if you are, you know, very agnostic in so many ways, and then you attract a Christian, they're like, if they're not comfortable in themselves to be able to say, you know what, he's agnostic or she's agnostic, but I like how they teach and they don't let it phase their own faith then you may have an issue with that person. But if you have been like totally verbal the entire time about your belief system, then you're going to attract those people with similar beliefs. So it's very, very important that you start to vocalize how you feel about things online, even if it hurts people's feelings, even if it triggers people, even if it may make folks feel some type of way. I, I'm, I just hate I just hate to say that, but controversy and polarization does win people online. I mean, I'm just saying, blame society, don't blame me. So you have to be a little bit of a free thinker. And I tell people too that my clients who are very like unapologetic online tend to do very well. Um, even when it comes down to attracting their dream clients, like they're very very bold with going on lives, um, doing emails, doing, um, what is it called? Um, doing video content. They're very vocal and they're very okay with that. Women tend to market very differently because of those things. And women tend to like advertise and market with their face, with their hair, with their makeup, with their presence you know, online. So it's easier to attract people with your face than it is for, you know, men in so many ways. Like women, you know, we come, we have to look the part. It's attraction. It's it's pretty face. Like I tell people, look like you put together. You don't look like have, you know, you don't have to glam up per se, but you do need to look put together, right? So that's another thing about, you know, some of the differences I see in women that do very well in my groups. And then also too, they're not afraid to ask for the sale. Like they're not afraid to offer. They're not afraid to tell people to join this or, you know, look in the comment section. I mean, look in the in link in my bio and grab the such and such. Like they're not afraid to tell people what they need to do in order to find out more about working with them. A lot of times, like people are so scared to talk about their offers and talk about like, oh my God, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to like sell to them. That's exactly what you're trying to do. Like you're, it's selling without selling. You let people make the decision because you understand that the real content is going to push out, push out, push out, push out to the right people. And that individuals who see your content is going to get like, oh my gosh, like I really need to find out more about this person. I really need to find out more about what she does because what she's saying is hitting my spirit. It's hitting my soul. So these are the things like they're not afraid to ask for the sale. Even during these times, like that's another thing too. Even during these times, like people right now talk about how they don't have no money and you know how they're, you know, doing this and doing that and they're trying to get jobs when there are clients like mine that are still winning right now because they are not giving up. Like it's super, super focused right now. And you have to be that way. You have to show yourself approved advocate. You got to know what you're talking about. You got to do the legwork. 
If you're not willing to do that, then you are going to struggle out here and you're consistently going to get the same type of results, which could be no results. You need a coach that's able to push you to that limit. A lot of y'all are not ready for that. You'll say you want more money, you want to make more money, but are you truly, truly ready for that type of realm? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, because we'll talk about these things. We'll say, Jay, I'm ready to work with you. I'm ready to do this. And I really need a coach like you. But then when it's time to move, a lot of people struggle with taking action because now you have to, you literally have to like take some sort of action. You got to step yourself, step out there. So anyway, if you are definitely interested in a work working with me, I would love to, you know, explore these things with you for your goals, what you, where you are in your business. Um, I typically do not um, work with those who have absolutely no idea what they want to do, but I always tell women like, it's so good. And it's so important that you find out what you want to do. Um, and you can get all this information from obviously my YouTube channel. I have TikTok. I have so many other um, avenues where you can go and look at some additional works from me. And just really kind of glean from that content and then kind of take it up with yourself and say, okay, it's time for me to get together. It's time for me to make some, some very, very focused moves. And if you are already in business and you're ready to take it to the next level and you're ready to go into that $25,000 mark or more, we definitely need to have a conversation. Look in the comment section or in the description box and uh, click that link. So those links down there to schedule you know, a consult, um, definitely join some of my spaces that I'm in so we can have some uh, conversations in the DM and just to see where you are and go from there. That, Like I tell people, there's nothing wrong with asking. There's nothing wrong with seeing and assessing. And then we go from there. Um, but I'm Coach Jay. So glad that you are here in this space and we are going on, period. Take care. Make sure you subscribe. Tell someone about this channel. And learn, learn, learn. We got this.